Hey, happy Friday. Welcome back. I'm back. It hasn't been like months and months and months since I dropped that one. I told you guys that I was going to be dedicated to saying more on a weekly basis. So jazz hands, jazz hands, I'm here. So I'm here because I, although I am extremely tired um, tonight, well, I should say tonight, last night, in fact, um, is the night that I do Ask Sarina Live. And so I tend to be extremely famished after my outpouring of information during that half an hour time slot. So pardon me. <laughs> but I know I promised you that I was going to share with you some pretty important news about Talent Think Innovations and it's kind of already been shared, so I think it's only fair that I like kind of connect the dots and share it here. Um, so the news that I shared yesterday was that Talent Think Innovations will have its first ever intern. Woo, woo, woo. Excited. I'm beyond excited. Um, I'm bringing on a digital media intern and her name is Kimberly Minto. She is going to be starting next Tuesday and she's awesome. She's just awesome and I'm just so happy to be in a position to help her along her journey. Um, what's even cooler about it is this. And so I have to kind of tell you this story before like I go where I really want to go with this, but I would say about a year and a half ago, I had said to some colleagues and even some close friends, I said, you know, I really want to have an intern. And this was all in response to like a question of where do I see the business going next? And so I said, I would love to, you know, be able to expand and start by having an intern and you know, this intern that I bring aboard, I would love for her to be a young woman, preferably a young woman of color, and somebody who graduated from my alma mater, which is Hofstra University. That was just me throwing it out there in the universe, into the ether, and lo and behold, last fall, I get introduced, um, via a board that I sit on to Miss Kimberly Minto, who is a young lady, a young lady of color, and a graduate of Hofstra University. So I say all of this to say that there is power in words. And when people say to speak things into the universe, I believe in it. I believe that it's true because I truly spoke that a year and a half ago and I got what I wanted and I couldn't be more excited. Um, she graduated Hofstra with a bachelor's of arts in marketing. She hopes one day to own her own marketing and PR firm. And basically she's going to be with me for 12 weeks helping me co-create my own strategy, social strategy, digital, ugh, excuse me, digital strategy um, for the blog, for the Periscope show. And um, she will actually be taking over a few of my platforms for a certain period of time each week just to kind of get used to managing a brand on behalf of someone else. So... It's going to be cool. Um, the other thing that I'm pretty proud of is that it's a virtual internship. So it's not a traditional internship in the sense of she's got to like come to my office every day and bring me coffee and so on and so forth. Um, a lot of what we're going to do is going to be done virtually. And then I've kind of baked in some times where she and I can get together in person and work together and um, more so than even work together, just get to know each other and for her to get to know me on a very personal level. So I'm excited to test this framework that I've built. Um, virtual internships are actually not 
um, that much of a wild idea in doing research on it. There seem to be a lot of companies that are kind of going into doing this virtual thing now, um, and it seems very attainable. So, like I said, for me, um, her work is very virtual in nature, and so there's really no reason for her to be with me uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. We will be Skyping um, 30 minutes every week, so that's another point of contact. And then, like I said, I kind of baked in some time um, in person, face-to-face -face time where we can get together and kind of spend time with one another. So um, just really excited, super excited. And part of me, I'm like just trying to make sure that this lays flat. It's one of those funky necklaces that looks fabulous. But, you know, just when you're trying to be great, that's when one of them wants to be like ping and ping and ping. So as I'm talking to you, I see it. And so I try to smooth it just so it looks right. I have to give the full view of it and not have it looking crazy. But um, in any event, she is at Kimberly underscore Minto, M-I-N-T-O on Twitter. So if you run into her, if you see her, or if you just want to just um, wish her well, which I've been asking all of my social friends to wish her well uh, for her 12 weeks, please feel free to say hello and send her a kind thought um, and wish her well. I think she's going to do fabulous. And this is a huge milestone, not only for her, but it's a huge milestone for me and Talent Think Innovations. And I hope there'll be more, but right now I'm focused on ensuring that she has the best experience possible. So there's that. Um, if you haven't been on the blog this week, which you should be, just saying, there's a new article and it is called Keeping Up With Disruption, Why Every Trend Is Not For Your Business. And I am thankful for the outpouring and the support that it's getting um, because I think it's an important topic and I really wanted to kind of kick off the content for the year with giving people something um, very practical to kind of think about. And, you know, I just know like with the businesses I work with, there's just such a tremendous amount of pressure when you think about all of the experts that are out there, all of the information that we have um, at our beck and call, whether it's through articles, blogs, uh, webinars, and otherwise. And it really comes down to this one fact. Um, it, it's what, what do you go with? You know, what information is most pertinent or relevant to your business? And I think it's hard to sift through it all at times. And so I wanted to just kind of give some pointers on how businesses can actually sift through these so-called best practices or best in class um, tips, you know, to really drill down to what they need to be focused on and what's really applicable to their business. And, you know, kind of just setting aside all of the things and all of the banter that really just doesn't apply to them. Because the fact of the matter is, is, you know, you need to operate day to day. And that's really the primary consideration obviously improvement has to happen we live in a time where there's just rapid transformation there just is and so you have to keep up with the times and so there's something to that but in order to keep up with the times in a way that is sustainable and manageable i believe that it's important to be able to have some sort of level of discernment when you are reading and listening to um, various pieces of advice or suggestions as to what you should be doing. Um, and that obviously goes for anything I say too. I, I don't leave myself out of this. So check it out. It's a good article, I think, or so I've been told. Um, so you can find that obviously at the aristocracy of HR.com. And there'll be more to come next week. 
Um, not quite sure what I'm tackling yet. It's just not part of my process to think that far ahead. And I think my brain is just going to any moment start oozing out of each side. <laughs> so um, I'll leave it at that. I just wanted to share my good news. I wanted to just bring your attention to what is on the blog. And also before I sign off, I have created a situation that um, I guess I should have had years ago and didn't know much. I didn't know what I didn't know, but now that I know better, I'm doing better. And so now you can actually subscribe to the aristocracy of HR and be made aware of when new content hits. I am feverishly working on um, a newsletter and resources and possible free trainings and things like that to really make um, this community that already exists um, a community that receives. I mean, you've received content over the years, but I want to give more. I want to pour into you. And so I'm really trying to make it more and more a valuable experience. So if you are not yet subscribed, please, please, please not only subscribe here to this here channel, but hop over to the Aristocracy of HR and subscribe there. I would appreciate it. I love you guys for reading. And I'm just looking for other ways to make your business lives and professional lives um, more practical, more simple, um, and maybe just a little bit more fun, right? Everybody can use a little bit more fun. So that's all I got for you. I don't want to keep you too long. And quite frankly, I'm getting a little tired, even though this makeup has me looking like a beat to the god. Anyway, have a great rest of the week, have a great weekend, and I'll be back here next week to share some more. Alright, take care.